All right. For this next segment, we're going to talk about McKenzie Gore a bit. I uh, definitely had, I've seen his name floated around a lot of Padres discussions in our comments. You know, just a lot of people want to talk about McKenzie Gore because Padres have a pretty big dilemma with him right now. Uh, if you guys haven't been following, his fastball is now down to 89, 91. He's put up terrible numbers in the minor leagues. And some people, I mean, his estimated time of arrival was 2021, and it doesn't seem like that's the case. In the past, we've advocated for bringing him up and just kind of throwing him out there, say like, hey, what do you got? What do we got to work on? And just kind of, you know, throw him to the wolves a little bit and just let him go out there and show what he has. Um, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. It doesn't seem like that's at least right, like in this moment, it does not seem like that's an option right now. Um, kind of all over the place. Seems like he has some mechanical issues. And and really, it's just in terms of developing this, you know, potential ace caliber pitcher, it has not gone well. So the Padres are in a pretty weird spot right now with Mackenzie Gore. Um, and how do you guys just feel like they should go about this situation? Is he a guy that needs to get moved? Is he a guy that you need to hold and wait to see? Or... You know, like, 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 what's your faith in the Padres' ability to, you know, actually develop him? And do you think it's worth holding on to him? Um, I've seen a lot of people want, you know, they're in favor of trading him. I'm not in favor of trading him just because his value right now is really, really low. Like, you don't want to trade a guy, you know, like Mackenzie Gore that has that kind of potential to be an ace in your staff. At you know, you don't want to trade him to a team like I don't know the Rays who would absolutely 100% develop him into one of the best pitchers in baseball. No question. You know, we got to be able to do that ourselves. And it's hard to be confident in the Padres, you know, developing players in general, because let's be real. They don't really have a good history of that. I mean, the most recent one, Ryan Weathers, um, you know, he looks like a stud for sure. Obviously you can say Fernando Tatis to some capacity. He did start with the White Sox and he was with us for a little while in the minors too. But, um, in terms of pitchers, I it, it's tough to remember who the best one was. Like, it's really tough in my opinion. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys can remember anyone, or Chase or Matt if you guys can remember anyone. But um, like, it, it's hard to be confident when you when you don't really have a history of being able to do it like other teams do. But in terms of Mackenzie Gore, his talent is there. He's still got good stuff, and I know his fastball velocity is down right now. But that's a problem that could definitely be fixed. He, I mean, he's dealt with some blister issues, probably mechanical issues that are definitely fixable. I'm sure I, – I think what's most frustrating is that they probably changed something mechanically that messed him up. Because I know in baseball, like, when you try and change your mechanics, like, when you try, you know, fixing something or, like, doing something that is just not right for you, you haven't been doing it your whole life, it's like, why, why, why try and fix something that's not broken is what I'm trying to say. It seems like – that's what they might have done. Uh, but I brought it up in the live stream for anyone that, you know, didn't watch. Uh, there's no rush for Mackenzie Gore because the Padres have set themselves up to be able to have guys in the rotation for, you know, the next two or three years at least to where we can wait for Mackenzie Gore another year or two. You know, you Darvish is going to be with us for a little while. Blake Snell as well. Joe Musgrove, hopefully he, we can extend him here soon. Um, Denelson Lament, hopefully he's fully healthy by next year. This year is not looking very likely that he'll be fully healthy at all. But hopefully they get him some treatment or, you know, some sort of surgery to get him ready. Um, Ryan Weathers is looking like a great piece for us. Um, so, you know, the Padres have set themselves up to be able to have a solid pitching staff for years to come while waiting for the best pitching prospect. Um there's no rush to bring up Mackenzie Gore. Like I said, no need to trade him at all. He's still got the potential and teams will bank on buying low on that kind of potential. They will absolutely do it. And that's not what you want to give up. You don't want to lose trades, um, especially when it comes to, you know, a top prospect like that. So no need to move Mackenzie Gore. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, something as simple as mechanics, like one little tweak can make all the difference in the world to a person. For example, another guy on the Padres, uh, Trent Grisham, the Brewers, he holds like the bat like a traditional like golf club. And the Brewers had tried to make him switch to like a traditional and how they would hold the bat. And he was struggling to hit for a while. And they're like, you know what? Stop that. It's not working for you. Go back to how you were ever you were holding the bat. And right around that time is when he got traded to the Padres. And we've seen how good of a hitter he can be. So, you know, it was just something as simple as that changed the whole world for Grisham. 
And it could be something as simple as that can change for Mackenzie Gore. And as of right now, he's not pitching in AAA. He's in Arizona with a finger blister. But right now, he's mainly focusing on trying to fix his mechanics with, you know, like one-on-one instruction with whoever is in Arizona with him right now. And, you know, once he does that, his velocity will get back up. I'm pretty sure his location will be fine. But until then, you can't trade Gore. He has the superstar potential. He has your potential to be ace for years and years to come. You don't give that away so easily. And if you do, it just kind of shows that the Padres lack the confidence to develop pitching in their own right. Because ever since Preller has really come into the league for the Padres, what pitchers have we developed? Eric Lauer, Joey Lacassi. Who else? I think the I one guy that's the closest is probably like Mora Hone, like second to Weathers, like honestly, because. Joey yeah. Fuego wasn't coming out there posting, you know, three ERA. He was a five ERA guy. Lauer was like four or five. Um, Ma- Baez, Baez totally fell off. <laughs> like there's, there's been a lot of guys that just haven't came through. So I think it's really concerning. Yeah. And it kind of just shows we haven't really developed any talent from our farm system. We trade for it. And not being able to develop this talent is going to be a roadblock that the Padres have to overcome because it is a very important step into becoming those great franchises. The Dodgers, yeah, they trade away a lot of their talent, but they also develop a lot of their talent at the same time. Their 2016 draft class, I guarantee you, like the first six or seven rounds have all made an impact in some sort of way. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely a concerning thing. Uh, I agree. Do not sell, you know, sell low on on McKenzie Gore. You, you don't do that with guys like trades like that. And Isaac, you brought up, oh yeah, if you trade him to the Rays, you know he's going to be an ace caliber pitcher. Like that's that's how I feel. I feel the same way. Um, and Chase, I love that you bring up Trent Grisham's hands. I remember reading about that when they acquired him and how like he did, how he felt like uncomfortable. Um, we've seen that with uh, Musgrove. The Pirates had him throw, I forget what it was. They had him throw something or not throw something that he didn't want to. And when he came to the Potters, he's like, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this adjustment. I'll be better if I make this adjustment. They let him do it. It worked out great. Um, so it could definitely be something really small where McKenzie Gore kind of turns it around. Still concerned. Um, and like you said, it's because of the lack of development in the starting pitching um, and really in the pitching and whole. Isaac, you brought up, you know, they've developed Fernando Tatis. They've done this. They've developed, I think, the bats a lot better than the pitchers. Um, I'm I am concerned about this pitching though, because and I'm titling this the McKenzie Gore dilemma because the big like question here is, are the Padres able to develop these really talented guys and you know grow them through the Padres system, have homegrown talent? Chase, you brought up the Dodgers. The Dodgers have, do an excellent job with that. And there's a lot of organizations like the Rays. Like, you know, they do a great job with like bringing guys in and developing them. And the Rays always move them. But like, you know, they can make them become really good players. And they they been it, it's a benefit to the player to be in that organization. If the Potters are an organization where it's not a benefit for the for these young, like, you know, minor leaguers to come here and get better, that's a serious concern. Like that's something that's really scary. Um, and if we do, I, I think if we see AJ Preller move McKenzie Gore, that means he does not have faith in their ability to, to fix him. And that is really concerning. Um, so I don't know. I'm just, I am worried about it. You know, it's something where it's like, all right, where, where are we at with this? Because, and let us know what you think too. If you think they should trade McKenzie Gore, like tell us, um, I'd love to know why too. Cause I just feel like it's, it, it, there's not much gain in that. Like he's at the lowest point. I would never sell low on a guy like that unless you really have no faith in him. And there's a lot of reason to believe that he can become an ace caliber pitcher still. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of concerned about it moving forward, but do we want to kind of anything else you guys want to add before we kind of get into some other prospects and kind of go over the the list of guys that have been balling out lately? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I said this in the last stream as well. You don't just get, you know, it's not like space jam where you, you know, you lose your talent like Barkley and you don't you don't lose it. That's not that's not Mackenzie Gore. He's still got all his stuff. He's still only 21 or 22 years old. Um, 
still really young and 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 uh you know like i said we we have time we have time to develop him aj peller has brought up before in an interview you know they asked him how do you feel about mackenzie gore do you think he'll be up here soon and he said yeah you know he feels like uh you know if everything goes the way he wants if everything looks good that he wants to bring him up this year but if he has if he has to wait another year he's fine with that and i think we're, we should all be fine with that too because you don't want to give up on that kind of talent if you give up on that kind of talent like like Matt said, you're just kind of showing that. And I think Chase said it too. You're just kind of showing you're not you're not confident enough to develop your own talent, and that's what we have to be able to do for the long run. Because, I mean, the Padres have sucked for a long time. Do we want to keep sucking? I know I don't. I don't know. I don't want to keep trading and trading and trading and trading to try to to try and uh, you know have guys to keep our sustained success. Um, even now, you know, at the deadline again, here we go again with the starting pitching which sucks because we have a starting pitcher down down in the minors waiting, but we're just not able to, you know, along with him having a little bit of injury issues, mechanical issues, we're not able to get him up here because, uh, you know, there's just been a bump in the road for him, unfortunately. But I think he's going to figure it all out. All his problems are definitely – they're they're pretty fixable regarding control. I don't know what the heck is up with his blister issues. It's kind of weird. But everything's fixable, and I still think he's going to be a, an ace of the future. Yeah, yeah me so, too. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I think Isaac just nailed it on the head. You know, you you can't let him go. You got to let him fix it. You got to let him do that. Hopefully he comes up this year. I know Preller made the comment that he's hoping that Gore comes back into the second half of the season and makes an impact. So hopefully we see that. 